Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 17 inch laptop from Best Buy. So I decided to order this 17 inch laptop from Best Buy. This is an HP 17.3 inch laptop. Uh, the specific model we're looking at here is the 17-CP0700DX. Features an AMD Ryzen 5 processor, eight gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD in natural silver. Now the current price new is $469.99 on sale, and they do have some, some open box deals from $394.99. I got open box excellent, and it was $421.99 before tax. Now, of course, this being open box, that means that someone did purchase this and return it. Uh, so this is in excellent condition. So this means that hopefully it has really no wear or tear on it. Uh, so as you can see on the front of the box, it looks pretty normal. We have the Best Buy inspected sticker on the top and we have a couple on the bottom as well. And it kind of sounds a little shaky in there. So let's go ahead and open it up and see how everything looks and we'll test this laptop out. So as you can see, they are missing a part of the packing material, so it's kind of just uh, chilling in there, but we can take this out. So in the box, of course, we just have our laptop and we do have our 45 watt HP charger. And it looks like this has a uh, traditional HP barrel plug instead of USB-C for charging. Now, as this is in excellent condition, let's take a look at the condition of it. It does look like it's just a little bit dusty, but I did notice uh, two or three scratches right here in the corner. So there are a couple scratches here, but other than that, the lid looks pretty good. The HP logo is still shiny, no scratches there. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see it looks like we do have some scuffs down here as well. Maybe that'll come off. Looks like that could just be residue. And just some uh, light dust around uh, most of the corners here. So not bad. Let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the inside and see the condition of this. It looks like it is just dirty, so I kind of wish they would have cleaned it a little bit. Um, but that just looks like it's dirt. That just looks like a dirt spot here on the keyboard. And then our screen. You know what? Our screen might actually have a scratch, but it could be just a smudge. But we'll go ahead and get a cloth and see if we can clean that up. All right, so I'm cleaning cloth, so let's see if all the little dirt and specks come off and see if it's actually in as good a condition as it says it is here. So it looks like the majority of any dirt is coming off. All right, after cleaning, it looks like all of uh, that was just dirt. So it looks like it was just dirty and all of it came off just cleaning it up, which is nice to see. And the only thing we have really here is just the couple of light scratches in the corner. So if you are buying open box, definitely inspect it, make sure that it is up to your standards. So even if it is open box, it should still look good. It shouldn't have a bunch of scratches or anything like that unless you buy it in a lower condition. All right, now we'll take a quick tour of the device here. So this is plastic. You can see we have uh, a pretty nice silver and we have the silver HP logo. And on the bottom is the same deal. We do have one large vent uh, for airflow. We have uh, two long rubber feet on the bottom as well. And then taking a look on the inside, you can see we have our very large 17.3 inch display. And then for our keyboard, we have a full-size keyboard, and that is all in silver. I wish it had black keys instead of silver, but still looks good. And then in addition to that, we have a long speaker grill as well, and a fairly large trackpad. Taking a look at I.O. on this machine, you can see that on the side, we do have a USB-A, super speed port, HDMI full-size, a super speed USB-C port, as well as a headphone microphone jack. On the right hand side, you can see we have our power adapter plug and another super speed USB, as well as two light indicators for power and activity. And we're gonna go ahead and turn it on for the first time. Now, unfortunately it had no power out of the box, so we had to plug it in. We can turn on the power button. Uh, power button placement's kind of strange, is next to the delete button. Not sure why they did that, but go ahead and let this boot up into setup and we'll go ahead and set it up here. All right, and after doing setup, uh, we are at the main desktop. Uh, so as you can see, we have a very nice looking uh, 17 inch display and we're at the start menu and you can kind of see already some of the applications that are included. Uh, one of which I'm not really a fan of is of course McAfee. So I do not want McAfee, but McAfee is installed by default on a lot of machines for some reason. Um, I'm still not sure why. 
But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the included applications. Amazon.com, we have Dropbox for S mode, Booking.com, HP Quick Drop, TikTok, WhatsApp, Solitaire, uh, a couple other things. And some of these are just placeholders, which is great. Uh, but some of these, of course, are in their built in. So uh, any of these that you don't want, you can go ahead and just uninstall. Uh, so as you can see, we can uninstall that and uh, it shouldn't hopefully take up too much space. We can go into the all apps section here and see if there's anything that looks kind of crazy. And it looks like it's just uh, those, those couple I see LastPass here, McAfee Personal Security. We have Minecraft Education Edition. We have Solitaire, of course. So not, not a whole lot, which is good to see. Uh, let's go ahead and see how much storage we get out of the box. There is uh, 400, 432 gigabytes free out of 476. So uh, it looks like it's a 500 gig drive, partitioned down 476 gigs, and 432 is free. And as for specs on this computer, we do have an AMD Ryzen 5 5500U with Radeon graphics. This has a max boost of four gigahertz. We have six cores and 12 threads. As for memory, we have eight gigs included, 3200 megahertz DDR4. It is using one slot, so there's potential for a memory upgrade in the future. Of course, our SSD is a 512 gig SSD. Looks like it is a Western digital disc formatted to 477 gigs. For Wi-Fi, we have a Realtek RTL 8822CE chip, 802.11ac, and then of course our AMD Radeon graphics. And here's a quick look at our camera. It does look like it's only 720p or so, but it honestly looks pretty clear. Of course, I do have nice lighting here, so it should look pretty nice. You can see at the top, we do have a little light indicating that it's on. There's no shutter cover for this camera, but overall, not bad and should do the job. And here is a quick display test. So I have a YouTube video running at 1080p just to give you an idea of how content will look if you do decide to consume content on this computer. And again, this display is 17.3 inches in size. It is full HD, 1920 by 1080p resolution. It is an IPS display, anti-glare, so it does have a matte texture on the display, and it has 250 nits of brightness. And just to give you a quick speaker test, we'll play a quick no copyright song here. And these are dual speakers, and as I mentioned, they do come up from uh, the keyboard area. So we're gonna play this here and give you an idea of how it's gonna sound. And I will say the speakers do seem to get pretty loud, which is nice. They are a little bit tinny, so they're not the greatest sounding speakers, but if you are consuming content on a regular basis, they should sound just fine. Now, as for battery, I can't really speak to the battery life on the computer as I just unboxed it, but what it says on HP's site is this is a three cell 40, 41 watt hour lithium ion battery with mixed usage. You should get up to eight hours and 15 minutes of battery life. And for video playback, you can get up to eight hours and 30 minutes of battery life. And of course the included operating system is Windows 11. The version we have here is Windows 11 Home and this comes in S mode out of the box. So just so you know, you will not be able to download applications such as Chrome or anything outside of the Microsoft Store unless you take it out of S mode uh, once you do receive the computer. And that unfortunately does require a Microsoft account. And taking a quick look at our keyboard and trackpad layout, you can see that we have a pretty nicely sized full size keyboard with a 10 key on the side and a fairly large trackpad as well. On the top row, you can see we have our uh, half size F keys and they also double as different functions. So as you can see, we have a help, we have a brightness control, F4 is blank. Our mute does have a little LED to let you know that that is on. It turns orange when that is on. We have our volume controls, play, rewind, fast forward, and a project button as well. Uh, the one weird thing about this is the placement of the power button is here by the delete button, and you can see that it does have a little LED here. I would think that it would be over at the far right, far right hand side, but that's where they put it. Just kind of strange placement in my opinion. The rest of the keyboard looks pretty nice. We also have an LED for our caps lock, and that is a white LED there. And then of course our trackpad does depress on either side. It's not a separate different click and it does feel pretty nice. And keyboard does feel a little bit cheap, but seems to work pretty well. So it does seem to has decent feel and everything. And of course, this is a pretty typical HP keyboard. 
All right, so we did have a couple of Windows updates that need to be done, and we're not restarted, everything's settled, so we're gonna do a couple of benchmarks. Starting with Crystal Disk Mark, just wanna see how fast our drive is. And after a short time, we have our results here. So it looks like we have a top uh, read speed of 2400 megabits per second and write speed of 1800 megabits per second. So I'd say that's pretty decent for this SSD. All right, our next benchmark is gonna be Cinebench R23. So we'll go ahead and run this. All right, here are our final results from Cinebench. So for the multi-core test, we got 6,302 points. And for the single core test, we got 1,163 points, uh, putting us just under an i9 9th gen and an i7 7th gen. And then here is our results from Nova Bench. So we have a score of 2309. And if you look further down, you can see the individual scores for our CPU, GPU, our RAM, and our disk. So not too bad. Of course, this has an integrated GPU, so it's not going to be a gaming powerhouse, but it should do pretty decent for performance. All right, I just want to give you a couple of pros and cons with this computer after using it for just a little bit. Pro number one is our display. We have a nice 17.3 inch anti-glare full HD display at 1080p. I think it looks pretty great for the price. Pro number two is our keyboard and trackpad. A keyboard feel is great with this. Only thing I wish is that it was a contrasting color, so it was a little bit easier to see. Pro number three is performance. I think that this computer performs very well for the price with the Ryzen 5 processor and should be great for basic tasks and some light gaming. As far as cons with this computer, of course, things that I would have liked to see is a 1080p webcam. This does only have a 720p webcam, but the webcam still looks decent overall. Con number two, we have no backlighting. Of course, that's usually reserved for nicer computers. And con number three is our speakers. They are a little bit tinny, but they do still get pretty loud and should be okay overall for media consumption. So there you guys have it. A quick look at this HP laptop. Again, this is a 17.3 inch laptop and is very budget friendly, currently priced at $469.99 at Best Buy. So if you guys have any questions on this, please leave them down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.